Samsung Galaxy devices do so much more than you probably know. Welcome to Galaxy Unlocked, a channel where I help you unlock and make the most of your Galaxy ecosystem. This is a quick fire video showing you 15 of the most requested tips and tricks on how to use a device. So even if you think that some of them are a little bit silly or that you don't really need them now, save this video for future. Who knows? You might need it. You can change the position of the back button on the navigation bar on your Samsung Galaxy device, or you can remove it completely and replace it with gestures. It's the new way of navigating your phone. In order to do this, swipe down on your device from the top of the screen and go to settings, display, navigation bar. Choose your back button order to either the left or the right of the navigation bar. You can also use these swipe gestures, allowing you to swipe on the left side of the screen to go backwards or swipe up to see all your open apps. Use the more options if you want some more granular ways of operating your device, like changing where you swipe up for your assistant, like your Google Assistant, or um, gesture sensitivity. Change the background image of the person that's calling you when it pops up on the call screen. You can firstly change the generic one, or you can change it specifically for that contact. I'll show you both. For the generic contact, open up the phone app, then the three dots in the top right-hand side of the call screen. Tap settings, then background. Here you could choose a background image or a video from the featured ones or from your own gallery by pressing the plus in the top right-hand corner. Now, instead of just using that generic background for just say a, a specific contact like your mom or your wife or your partner, you can change their one individually, you know, just to make them feel special or just get you excited when they call. <laughs> Head on over to the Contacts app, then tap on the contact that you'd like to change. In the bottom right-hand corner, tap More, and then Edit Call Background. It's literally that easy. To remove lock screen ads or to change the lock screen wallpaper or the wallpaper on the phone itself, hold your finger down on an open part of the wallpaper when your phone's unlocked. Go to Wallpaper and Style, then Change Wallpaper. This is where you change your wallpaper for both the lock screen and the home page. To remove ads from the lock screen if your phone has them, go down to Wallpaper Services. You'll see a list of services on your device that'll be specific to your handset. I'm using the S23 Ultra, so there are no ads on mine, but if you have an A series, you might be seeing ads on your lock screen. This service is called Glance on Samsung, so you'll see it on that drop down list and just make sure that you click on None. If you want to lock a specific app, on a Samsung Galaxy device, you need to make sure that it's in the secure folder. Once you've activated your secure folder, which is really easy to do, just search your apps for secure folder, open your secure folder and tap on the plus on the top right. From here, you can either choose to download apps to the secure folder from the Galaxy or Play Store, or you can select apps that are already installed. Sometimes you can't find your secure folder and that's kind of a good thing because you want it to be more secure. But if you're struggling, here's how to do it. Go to settings, security and privacy, more security settings, then to secure folder and make sure add secure folder to app screen is toggled on. If like I said, you don't want it to be searched for when you are looking through your apps, which I completely understand, the easiest way to access your secure folder is in the button tray at the top of the screen. To do this, swipe down twice on the top of your home screen to reveal the button drawer. Then tap the pencil icon and choose edit on the app drawer you'd like to add to it. So you might want to do the quick access or the big one. Swipe through the available buttons on the bottom of the screen until you see the secure folder and tap on it to add it to that active app tray. From there, you can just drag it around in order from where you want to see it. Maybe you want to shove it right at the back so your kids don't have access to things that they shouldn't. If you don't want specific media inside your secure folder, like you want to remove some images or documents out of it, you feel like it's locked in there and you're like, how do I get access to it? Or you want to delete your whole secure folder altogether, here's how you do it. What you need to do is swipe down from the top of the screen, click on the cog, which is your settings, tap on security and privacy, then more security settings, then a secure folder. You'll have to enter the password or unlock the secure folder if you've used it before, if you've had access to it. The next few steps are important if you want to remove items out of your secure folder and put them back onto your phone, or if you want to uninstall your secure folder but not lose everything. Go to more settings here and then choose uninstall. You'll be prompted to move all contents of the secure folder before you uninstall, which I highly recommend or else you're just going to lose them forever. There's no way to recover them. To individually remove items out of the secure folder, which you know you might want to do from time to time, select the item and tap the more menu at the bottom of the screen, then tap move out of secure folder. It's that easy. Some of you don't use 24 hour clocks and I don't know what's wrong with you. So <laughs> in order to remove the 24 hour clock and make sure that it's on that 12 hour format, here's what you do. Go to settings, 
then general management, date and time, and uncheck 24 hour format. This option isn't available in the clock settings, it's available only in the general management. It's a system wide change. If you want to see how active you've been with your screen time, there's a very easy way to do this. Go to settings, digital well being, and parental controls. Here you can see what your screen time has been and even the kind of activity that you've been using. You can also set a screen time goal if you want to proactively minimize how much time you spend on your device. And the best part is that you can even set timers for apps specifically. So if you find yourself doom scrolling TikTok or playing too much Candy Crush, it'll lock you out of that particular app for the rest of the day unless you decide to change the timer. Just a little way to help you stay self-disciplined. There's a hidden mode on Samsung devices that unlocks a whole bunch of hidden options in the options menu and the settings menu, and also allows you to do things like install APKs and apps that aren't available on the Google Play Store or on the Galaxy Store. If you don't know why you wanna do this, don't do it. Like it, it runs a risk of uh, you being able to install APKs that uh, potentially could be viruses or have Trojan horses in them, or whatever the case is. But there are specific instances you may want to have this set up. In order to do this, go to settings, about phone, software information, and tap on build number seven times. Something that you should be doing to the like button of this video. Tap it seven times exactly. See what happens. In the main settings page, you should now see a developer options menu. From here, you can change secret features or toggle developer mode off and on. If you're struggling to change the password or the pin on your device, I got your back. Go to settings, security and privacy, lock screen, Screen lock, here you're gonna enter your existing pin if you've got one. And now you can change your pin, password, lock screen pattern, or add biometrics like fingerprint reading or facial recognition if your device supports it. To turn off or mute the sound that is coming from your Samsung keyboard or the vibrations, in some instances it's super irritating when you're typing and it's vibrating and the tapping sound just annoys everybody. You don't have to put the phone into like a mute mode. You can set it in the settings. To do this, click on the clock after you swipe down from the main screen, go to sounds and vibration and make sure sound is selected. Make sure that you've tapped system sound on the top and make sure Samsung keyboard is unchecked. You can do the same for vibration under system vibration and unchecking the Samsung keyboard there as well. Now you basically got like a silent keyboard. Some Galaxy devices have the ability to record phone calls. This is sometimes device specific or regional specific. So I, I can't guarantee that it's gonna be on your device, but there's a way to check. In South Africa, we don't have it. We just, it's not legal in South Africa, so it doesn't appear. Go to the phone app, then tap the three dot overflow menu in the top right hand corner of the screen, then click settings. Recall calls will be an option if it's available to you. Here you can activate it and you can choose where the audio of the call that was recorded is, is stored. Did you know that you can cast your Samsung Galaxy device to a television without an HDMI cord? Just one caveat here, it has to be a Samsung Smart View compatible TV. Most modern ones are. So if you've got a Samsung TV at home, it's likely to work. Swipe down twice from the top of your screen to reveal the button drawer. Then right at the bottom left of the screen, you're gonna see something called Smart View. It's a button that you should tap on. If your TV is on and it's connected to the same network as your phone, remember it's a smart TV, it should be connected to the same network. It should come up as an option there. The phone will detect it. Tap on the TV that you wanna to send to and boom, you're live. Just don't put anything dodgy on the screen for the whole family to see. Did you know that you can record your screen just like this? I'm just recording the camera screen. It's really easy. Recording your screen for gameplay or for capturing something is really easy. Swipe down from the top of your screen and you should see a screen recorder button in the button drawer. If it's not there, tap the pencil button at the top of the screen to edit the contents of the tray and drag it from the available buttons onto the tray. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you unlock your Samsung Galaxy device in more ways than one, and it was super helpful. If you did find it super helpful, I don't know, hit the like button seven times. Exactly seven times. You'll have good luck forever. I think that's how it works. Hope you stick around so that you can make the most of your Galaxy devices.